Okay, welcome back. I've got something quite interesting here. As you can see, this is just a normal LSD, LED strip, and right now it's uh, red. And what we're going to do is mount this, or of course a longer version of this, I've got about 5 meters here, um, onto various parts of the laser, so that as soon as we power the laser, we've got a nice red light. Um, and why is it going to be red? Because, well, red represents danger. And when the lid is opened, I'll show you this on the laser uh, later on, this is going to be red. And as soon as we um, put the lid down, this switch is going to be activated. And it's going to be a nice kind of high-tech sci-fi blue. And the way this works is very, very simple. We've got some... Uh, whoops. We've got... 12 volts here and we've got um, blue which is for this switch so as soon as this switch is on um, the ground is going to be connected to blue and when the switch is off the ground is connected to red so right now the current is flowing from the plus 12 volts to the red terminal and that's why the red LEDs are shining right now and as soon as the lid is closed, the uh, current is flowing from the 12 volt terminal to the blue terminal. So that's very simple and there's absolutely no way to kind of um, go around this. So it's a kind of visual uh, safety feature basically. And of course it looks pretty cool. And that's actually what the uh, 12 volt um, power output or power module was that I mounted in the last electronics episode. Um, that's just the uh, part. Oh, right now it's pretty fiddly as you can see. Because yeah, now I pretty much destroyed it. Because these clamps aren't really good for this. I'm just gonna solder it later on. Uh, yeah, so one thing I'll have to make sure is before I um, stick this to the aluminium profiles, um, I'll have to clean these up using just some normal cleaner maybe give them a little sanding so that these don't come off and then I'll just I'll stick them on and this is going to look very nice okay so here's the circuit diagram as you can see the 12 volt is just directly connected to the 12 volt and the ground is directly connected to red and connected to blue via switch and I don't know why this is the case but um, when both blue and red are connected to ground, only blue shines. So we can actually use this kind of weird behavior or feature maybe to kind of program a um, if or either case in here. Okay, so I've got the wiring for the LED strips almost done. So you can he see there's some over there, some over there and one behind this thing, like here. And I think with the bright normal light on, you can't really see how red this is. I'm just gonna turn out the light, and as you can see, this is like a real uh, nice blood red color. Okay, now let's wire the switch, so this can actually get blue once we put down this lid. Okay, here I am. I've got everything wired up and you can't really see it in here because I had to dim the room lights a bit because um, another like really uh, bright artificial light, this uh, red LED strip doesn't really show up on camera. So yeah, uh, but however, here's a little switch and as soon as the lid gets closed, this whole thing is gonna light up blue. And let's just do that. So just put down the lid. Whoa! And now we've got some very bright blue light, as you can see. And this is really kind of sci-fi looking and I really like how this is uh, kind of showing up. And I think this really does make sense to have this because now it's some very um, nice light. It's not warning at all. But as soon as we, you know, you, you must uh, imagine a very powerful laser back there. As soon as we 
uh, open this up and the laser is kind of exposed to the room, this whole thing is red. Kind of danger, so that we immediately, immediately kind of know, okay, now we can't uh, activate the laser. This whole thing is red. And I think this is a really nice add-on to the laser. It really uh, makes this look a little bit more futuristic and sci-fi and high-tech looking. Yeah. All right. See ya.